Well, here we are, week 51 in our 2023 Chronological Bible Readings. Week 51. Isn't that crazy? This week, we are doing five different books, or five letters, if you will. It's going to be Philippians, 1 Timothy, Titus, 1 Peter, and then Hebrews. So here's your quick overview. Well, I'll try to make it quick. Philippians chapters 1 through 4. This letter is largely written, it's by Paul, and it's uh, he's confronting the problem of division within the congregation. Now, I know that joy or rejoicing is a theme, but I think the bigger theme in this letter is actually preserving the unity that Jesus produced. You'll see that throughout all four chapters. He's calling them to stand firm, to strive together, and to be in harmony with one another. Then we'll go to 1 Timothy chapters 1 through 6. This first letter from Paul to Timothy uh, in the what is called the pastoral epistles, which is 1 and 2 Timothy as well as Titus. But in 1 Timothy, Paul is encouraging Timothy to stay at Ephesus. It was a tough place to minister, and there was work to be completed. And I think Timothy wanted to leave, but Paul says, no, you've got to stay there, Timothy, and get these things set up and in place. Make sure that the churches are rightly established. Numerous instructions as far as setup, uh, church finances, elders, widows, deacons, uh, numerous things. And, and you're going to see that there in the, in the first letter. And then we'll go to Titus chapters 1 through 3. Similar to Timothy in that Titus is at Crete. It's an island and things are really difficult. It looks like he wants to leave, but Paul says you've got to stay to set in order. You're going to see that in chapter 1, and that's actually a medical term, which means the bone is broken, and in order for it to heal right and to grow right, you've got to set it, and nobody likes that. They're going to resist it. Titus, you've got a tough job, but it's a worthwhile job. He's going to deal with elders. He's going to deal with the body at large there in chapter two, and he's even going to deal in chapter three with how to deal with the person who is causing division in the church and how they're to be removed. Yeah, it's another pastoral letter. And then we'll go to First Peter chapters one through five. And although Paul is known as the apostle to the Gentiles, this letter by Peter, we think is written primarily to Gentiles. Yeah, I think that's interesting. But uh, largely it is encouraging believers to expect persecution and to know how to rightly respond to it and what what it's connected to in that Christ has suffered for us. Be willing to suffer for him. He won't leave you. And then finally, Hebrews. Oh my goodness. 13 chapters in this book is a treatise. It is incredible. It is about the superiority of Jesus Christ, who is God in human flesh. He is greater. That's a theme. Jesus is greater. And let's just look at some of them. Greater than the angels. Greater than Moses. He is the greater revealer. He is the greater revelation. The greater high priest of a greater priesthood. I just, he ensures a greater covenant. That's your theme for Hebrews. But as you read it, here's what I want you to keep in mind. I think he's writing predominantly to... Jewish people who have confessed Jesus as the Christ, but they are going through a lot of suffering because of that. And there's a temptation to go back to Judaism and it can't save. So the writer is saying, no, hold firm, hold fast to your confession in Jesus. And think of it like this. Think of a lawyer making his case. Chapters one through 10 is the writer making his case. Chapter 11, he goes, I want to call some witnesses to the stand. All of these people throughout time who have confessed Messiah, even when they didn't know his name, they confessed him and they never recanted of that. Hold fast your confession in Jesus. It's a great letter. Well, that's the time for this week. And we only got one more of these. Until then, God's grace and peace to you as you spend time with him in his word.